now most of you by now you should know that not only does neo sell premium electric vehicles but they also offer premium services which is something that again makes neo to stand out because this kind of service uh, uh, that neo is currently offering it is not all ev companies that offer such a service i mean with neo if you encounter a problem with your battery or if your battery gets to finish maybe before you get to a battery substation or a charging station you are able to contact neo via the app and they come with their car and charge your car so this is one of the services that you will not find with other ev competitors or with most ev uh, companies that are selling the ev cars this is one of the services that you will only find in neo which is something that must just show you that not only is neo offering premium or selling premium electric vehicles but it is also providing premium services now when talk about the services ladies and gents today we read wonderful news of saying that neo opened the 10th service center in shanghai now this is the biggest service center in all of the service centers that neo currently owns which is something that is truly amazing and something that I must just show you and also make you maybe to ask yourself to say that why is neo maybe opening such a big service center and the the answer to that might be that they know that they are opening neo park in september now before we get to these latest developments of neo opening the largest service center in china you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video now if you enjoy the content that i'll be giving you about this new stuff please don't forget to hit that likes button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and of course that's if you have not subscribed to the channel already so that at least you don't miss the good content that of course i do almost on a day to day here on youtube giving you the latest developments about neo and all the other stocks that we discuss on this channel now without a waste of time like i said neo today uh, we read wonderful news of saying that they opened the biggest service center ever in china when comparing to all the other service centers they have which is something that me when i read this article i i began to think that this might be in preparation of of course uh, also neo park opening or starting with the production in september as you know that that will be neo's largest factory as the annual production there is around uh, 1 million evs annually which of course this uh, kind of of course a saving center or near opening such a service center might be tried to also meet the demand that might come when a neo park or when neo park opens or when it starts with the production now this to me when i read this it made me to be really excited because like i said in the beginning of this video not only does neo provide or sell premium electric vehicles but they offer premium services which is the services or which is which is one of the services that you will only find in of course neo which is something that is incredible and something that obviously is going to be the one to make neo to not only win in china in terms of the consumers or getting the clients but in china but they will also win outside of china which is why you know by now that mizu analyst has already or some analysts are already indicating that neo's total revenues in the future or 30 percent of the of neo's total revenue will come outside of china which is something that with this kind of service with the kind of cars that neo is selling there is no doubt about the fact that not only will neo do well in china but they will also do well outside of china so this new service center ladies and gents we read that it is around twelve thousand square meters and ladies and gents it has around 70 service bays with of course 129 parking spaces which is something that is truly amazing and just shows you of how big and massive this new neo service center is so this is something that is incredible and something that gets me to think that neo is opening this big service center uh, in preparation of of course uh, the uh, neo park opening with the production and i personally think that in the future or in the near future we might see neo starting to deploy these kind of service centers or these big service centers uh, of course in preparation of uh, the neo park coming in and you know that obviously neo park when it opens this year it won't open with that one million production capacity but uh, by the end of this year we already know that neo has already told us that they will be producing 300 or that 
the capacity at New York Park at the end of this year will be around 300,000, which is something that is incredible and something that obviously must motivate you and shows you that Neo, it is that stock that is just said to do very well because not only are they launching new cars, but they are also uh, increasing their production capacity, which is something that is always good and amazing to see the company like Neo, which you are investing in, taking these big steps, they're trying to expand and make sure that they get uh, to profitability. So we read that this service center also has a showroom and also offers uh, test drives for the Neo uh, cars, which is something that is all also amazing and incredible to say that maybe when you take your car or when a Neo comes, maybe or when you go collect your car you can have an opportunity to also test drives other new cars there and maybe if you are having a second thought of getting a second car or swapping uh, and get an, a, a different uh, new car you can easily do that because on this showroom that they just opened which is the largest they also have showrooms which also offers of course uh, test drives uh, right at the service center which is something that is incredible now you all know that shanghai it's one of the areas where this uh, service center is when you're it's seriously deploying many battery shop stations i mean we read that at the open of this uh, service center neo had deployed 78 or had se around 78 uh, battery shop stations in shanghai which were are uh, now more than the shop stations or battery shop stations in Beijing, which is something that must just show you that Neo, it looks like it is really prioritizing Shanghai in terms of infrastructure. But I'm not surprised by this because Shanghai is also one of the destinations when you it's really selling good numbers in terms of the SUVs, which is why it sort of like makes sense for them to have more infrastructure or more battery shop stations than, of course. Uh, Beijing but Beijing also is one of the cities where also Neo Neo is doing good but when it comes to SUVs Neo is really doing well in Shanghai which is why I'm not surprised why they have 78 battery sub stations because one of the plans that Neo has is that by 2025 they plan to have at least a, a battery shop station within a three kilometer radius of all the people that own the neo cars which is something that is truly amazing in china which is something that must just show you that not only will neo be selling these good cars but they will also make sure that the services to those that buy the neo cars they can easily access their services when it comes to of course their batteries charging their batteries or swapping their batteries which is something that like i said it is out of this world and it is going to be the one that makes new to stand out from the other ev competitors so neo not only are they having these of course swap stations only in china but they are also having their charging stations there where they also have 89 super charging stations which is something that is incredible and has to motivate you to stay long remain bullish onto this new stock otherwise with all that guys i just thought i should just give you this quick update about the things that we just read of neo opening the largest service center in China. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. Otherwise, that's all from me, and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.